Hello everybody and welcome back to Let's Play Dark Souls 2. Last time, when I left off, <clears throat> I had returned to the entrance to the Iron Keep after successfully defeating the Duke's dear Freya and, I believe, fully clearing out uh, Brightstone Cave, Cove Seldora. And that whole sort of branch of the game. Um, I'll tell you what I don't, still don't have. That's any decent fire resistance. I guess I'll use a small orange burr. And it'll precisely fuck all of me. <laughs> wow. Okay. Soldiers are 
is still fucked. Alright. Well, the only way that the only the only way I know to actually fix this is to just completely unplug it and plug it back in while I'm not touching any sticks. There, that means zero them. Correctly. Huzzah. Alright. Yes, we're back here. I wonder how much easier these things are now. difficult to kill. It's a good thing I give precisely zero fucks about the relatively few souls I have left other places. I'm also already fully hollow, so I don't have to care about that either. This is actually where we pick up fire resist gear.
That's one down. Mother of God, here's another. Everything they do just hits me. There's... There was no way to... There was no dodge direction that was going to solve that. There was no fucking blocking. <laughs> blocking is useless. Dodge really is useless. He just like does that fucking charge thing and I'm done. I mean, done like fucking dinner. I don't know what the fuck to do. My shield is useless. I might as well two hand. Mother of God. to attack. I'm completely fucked. I have to do like multiples of these things.
Rebel's Great Shield. Oh, hey. That's the one who liked to hang out there. I remember him. Shield of the Rebel Raim. Raim and Velstadt were known as the left and right arms of the king until their wills clashed and Raim was deemed a traitor. The Black Raven is despised as an augur of death, but it was Raimi's favorite bird. Cracked Red Eye Orb. That's fine. Two Cracked Red Eye Orbs. Freezing. <laughs> Alright, well. Got it. Okay, we're good.
smash it. Life gems. Yay. And this stuff is 
loot I can get in here is extremely important. That item I don't know about. I wonder if it has to do with that giant tree thing I haven't been able to interact with yet. Alright, well, you know, a little less fuckery would be nice. Sure be great if we could, you know, fall on the correct side this time. What the fuck that means. Fire drink stone. I'm not even entirely sure what that is. That's okay. important thing before I go back to the Iron Keep. The one most significant item of the bunch, as it were. And my silver cat ring again. In the meantime, let's look at the hall ring we just picked up. A ring graced with the engraving of a hawk extends the range of arrows. Blue-eyed Durgo, the nomadic bowman, had many a valiant victory in battle, half owing to the boon of this ring. Alright. that range. It's just gonna keep spinning.
much it doesn't get you away from them. Because it just... Ah! Now, 
have raised my fire defense considerably. <laughs> Apparently it's not enough. Of 
Dragon League. Built to honor the dragons, they say. <sighs> if only I knew how to get there. I'd, I'd go and I'd kill it for good as. I mean, the treasure. A I don't care. Right. I suppose I'll. Let's see what he's got. Jester's cap. A boldly colored jester's cap. A nice bit of fun to try on. Jesters are more than festival fixtures. Some have a second face hidden from public view. Effect raises item discovery. Jester's robes. A boldly colored jester's robe. A nice bit of fun to try on. Jesters are more than festival fixtures. Some have a second face hidden from public view. Effect nullifies foe's critical hits. Jester's gloves. Boldly colored jester's gloves. A nice bit of fun to try on. Jesters are more than festival fixtures. Some have a second face hidden from public view. Effect increases number of souls acquired. Jester's tights. Boldly colored jester's tights. A nice bit of a nice bit of fun to try on. Jesters are more than festival fixtures. Some have a second face hidden from public view. Effect reduces falling damage. Spiked bandit helm. Helmet of bandits of the Farasan outskirts. The territory of Farasa became lawless after the kingdom fell to war. Citizens became bandits and scattered to other lands. Bandit armor. Armor of bandits of the Farasan outskirts. The territory of Farasa became lawless after the kingdom fell to war. Citizens became bandits and scattered to other lands. Bandit gauntlets. Gauntlets of bandits of the Farasan outskirts. The territory of Farasa became lawless after the kingdom fell to war. Citizens became bandits and scattered to other lands. Bandit boots. Boots of bandits of the Farasan outskirts. The territory of Farasa became lawless after the kingdom fell to war. Citizens became bandits and scattered to other lands. Curse Bite Ring. One of several bite rings known for their peculiar design increases curse resistance. A similar oddly disturbing design of these rings suggests a common source. Whoever the master craftsman was, he clearly knew his trade. Human effigy, green blossom, black fireball. Charcoal, pine resin, repair powder, rusted coin, hello carving. Oh, from the from Yield DLC. Old wood carving that says hello. Face is carved from the wood of aged trees. They speak when thrown upon the ground. The fine craftsmanship of these faces is evident after, even after much aging, but no one knows even the name of the artist. This face says hello. Doesn't it look friendly? Thank you, carving. Faces carved from the wood of aged trees. They speak when thrown upon the ground. The fine craftsmanship of these faces is evident even after much aging, but no one knows even the name of the artist. This face says thank you. Doesn't it look appreciative? I'm sorry, carving. Faces carved from the wood of aged trees. They speak when thrown upon the ground. The fine craftsmanship of these faces is evident even after much aging, but no one knows even the name of the artist. This face says I'm sorry. Doesn't it look apologetic? Very good, carving. Faces carved from the wood of aged trees, they speak when thrown upon the ground. The fine craftsmanship of these faces is evident even after much aging, but no one knows even the name of the artist. This face says very good, doesn't it look cheerful? And a fragrant branch of yore, which I can't afford just yet, but I have three. So he sells a soul arrow, a great soul arrow, a heavy soul arrow. Advanced Soul Spell fires a devastating, thick soul arrow, but beware, the more powerful the soul arrow, the longer the casting time. Great Heavy Soul Arrow, which I have. Fall Control, I do not. A sorcery that facilitates surreptitious activity reduces the damage taken from falls. The eastern land of Mira is not only the home of proud knights, there is also a traditional order of shadow knights who use any means necessary to carry out their orders. Dark Hail. A hex modified from an old sorcery by Gilia the Hexer fires several orbs of darkness. Hexing is rooted in both sorcery and miracles, but is viewed as a perilous affront to all life and banned in most lands. Catalyst Staff. Darkstorm. An esoteric spell created by Navlan, the infamous exiled sorcerer, creates a local vortex of dark flame. The heretic Navlan was executed along with his entire village, and the mere utterance of his name became a crime. Some say it was because he sought to restore the banned art of resurrection, Catalyst Sacred Chime. Alright. Very well. No pressure. Okay. Oh, hi. Boy, you look mean.
Lockstone. Lockstone. Water. I think that raises my fire defense. Let me look at it right now. That still says 48. Yeah, 545. Let's see if I can get that human effigy. With 545 fire defense. Oh, come on. Yep. Got it. Super fun mechanic. I'm certainly not in particularly enamored of it, but I get it. Alright, here we go. Ready? sure was special.
destination platform isn't hot. Chain jump. I don't know how to do it. I don't have the stamina. I can't really get much more stamina. That's the other thing. Like my endurance is at the salt cap as far as stamina goes. behind me. The backtracking is done. I can actually move forward again. And that, my friends, that is what I care about. Fire arrows. Pretty sure I already have those. Arrow 
arrows imbued with fire, tipped with charcoal pine resin. Weapons fortified with fire are effective against foes vulnerable to magic and fire, such as undead or beasts. Useful in the short term for those who have learned to know magic or whose magic is exhausted.
about the jump cut there. Dogs started freaking out. I had to go see if there was actually anything going on. And it turns out this time, there was. Which is not usually the case. But, if I seem out of breath, it's because I had to retrieve trash can. Finally decided to come and visit. Everything was blowing away in the wind. It was fucking awful. Anyway, uh, I have enough souls to buy his fragrant range of yore. That's why I came back. Oh boy. Archers. Everyone's favorite. Cheers. Obviously, I'll buy arrows if I need to, but I'm trying not to need to. As much as possible. Oh boy, there's another. Another fucking great bow knife. served the old Iron King, were mightier than the land's iron, but in the end, the knights were subsumed by the flames that brought the castle down. I wonder if I can...
something ahead. What is it? A trap chest? It's a spy hander. Oh no. I have the, um, I've got the walkway open. Now I should be able to attack the great little knights that are still alive. start running and then apparently after I turned away he decided to start running. I hate that shit.
radiating a dull light. This flame seems nearly exhausted, but exhibits an eerie resilience. Perhaps this is its ordinary state? Summon. I need to make sure she's a 
survives this fight. Um, I'm going to put on... I need to see if this thing uses fire attacks.
by Alan Knights, one of the sturdiest types of katana preferred by masters of the quick draw. In the heyday of his land, the old Iron King fancied entertaining dubious and eccentric guests from faraway lands. Most of them were charlatans, but among the riffraff was an unusual knight from the Far East. He trained the Iron King's men in the sword in obeisance to his new lord.
Knights. The accoutrements of the Allo Knights who served the old Iron King were created with an advanced casting technique. They remain solid and handsomely crafted. The design is styled after the armor worn by an unusual knight who trained the Iron King's men in the sword. He was said to have deserted his liege after bearing witness to his descent into depravity. Alright. some of these souls before they have a chance to run out on me.
large soul of a proud knight. This may be waste to this point, but I think I have enough large Titan Knight shards to finally... I knew you. Well, be done. Nope, I need one more. One more large shard, two more chunks. <laughs> Don't waste my time. That's fine. I am work on leveling up. Bearer of the seek, seek, lest. Three more strength levels. Very nice. Need to see if horn effects can do anything with the uh, smelter demon soul. Sword. An ultra great sword forged from the soul of the Smelter Demon. Its blade bears the strength of terrible flames, a latent power unleashed by a strong attack. The earth spouted fire and the beast arose from the flames. The short sighted king was incinerated by this creature in one swing, and his castle devoured in a sea of flames. Effect special attack, strong attack. Finally do something with this guy. I know. It's been a minute, huh? I don't know the blood saying. Flynn, Flynn, I smell flame upon you. I'm Macduff the blacksmith. All I want is a little flame. So, I'm that ember to me. Right now, you imbecile. Give Dull Ember? Yes. <laughs> what a marvelous ember. You've got stones, I pray. Give me stones, and I'll fortify your gear. What's he sell? A bastard sword, an Uchi Katana. A katana of unknown origin, crafted with a peculiar yet refined technique. The finely sharpened blade of a katana slices with unmistakable smoothness, but should be wielded with caution, as its delicate constitution means it's easily worn. So he's the one who can do infusions, if you're wondering. Great axe. 
a great axe wielded with both hands. This great axe, crafted with a gigantic weighty blade, is designed to inflict heavy damage and requires inhuman strength to handle. Each swing of the great axe requires the full force of the body, leaving the wielder wide open. Mastering this weapon will require the most thorough training of both body and mind. Winged Spear a spear with winged lugs, longer than standard spears, allowing for attacks from further away. Thrusting attacks are effective even against opponents with high defense, though they have a narrow point of contact and won't effectively break through a shielded defense. Scythe. A scythe fitted with a large custom blade has an extended slashing reach when swung broadly, but beware, these attacks make the wielder very vulnerable. Longbow. The standard bow used by hunters equip arrows to use. Equip up to two types of arrows to give yourself immediate options in battle. Use arrows to hit enemies from afar and gain the upper hand by drawing first blood. Light crossbow. A standard crossbow. Equip bolts to use. Unlike bows, a crossbow can be held in one hand. Equip up to two types of bolts to give yourself immediate options in battle. Royal kite shield. A metal shield issued to knights. Nothing special about this shield, which is precisely why it is so easy to use and the likely reason for its popularity. People rarely agree over what constitutes quality, but the broad popularity of these shields proves that there are exceptions. Wood arrow. Inexpensive wooden arrows, easily acquired but not very threatening. Bows are excellent tools for attacking foes from a safe distance, but require the equipping of some type of arrow. Iron arrow. Iron great arrow. Standard great arrows made of iron. More effective than regular arrows, but considerably heavier. Wood bolt. Heavy bolt. <coughs> Repair powder, large titanite shard. Repair, reinforce. Yeah, I still don't have the juice. Talk. Flame, dear flame, I gave you my all, and you wavered and faltered. <laughs> From the start of time, flame allowed man to flourish. And even now, he devises new fiery arts. But his reason makes him doubt flame. And so, we waver and falter. The power of flame. Power of the gods. In the end, it is all beyond our reach. And so, Flame allures us, and we attempt to harness its power. Flame, dear Flame. Flame, dear Flame, I give you my all, and you waver and falter. <laughs> okay, infuse weapon. There's an achievement and a Titanite slab we get for spending at least. Magic or fire. Oh, but it hurts my it hurts my stat scaling. Yeah, see. Oh, good. It shows me exactly what it does. Yeah, I don't want to infuse a weapon. I'm actually. Enchanted isn't bad. But all it does is add intelligence scaling. some other weapons to get this achievement right quick. What if I infuse my shield with fire resistance? It only adds 42. It's like nothing. So here's what I'm doing. That's 12. That's 2,000. Six thousand. Eight 
8,000. 10,000. 12,000. 14,000. I need to talk to him. If you walk with flame, then I salute you. Take these. Titanite Slab and the achievement Smith for Life. Now I can take my leggings to plus 10. <clears throat> and if I buy his large Titanite shard, a 2500 souls. I don't currently have. Um, maybe I can soon. Give me the last large Titanite shard I need. One thing I've been neglecting to do for a while, I haven't talked to Ladder Smith Gilligan again after buying his most expensive ladder. Hey, what have you been up to? Talk. Here you are, my friend. You can have these, eh? It's a little bonus, you know, for your big purchase. Achievement unlocked, Garrulous Miser. Oh, come on. You don't look so glum. Scimitar. I'm trying to be nice here. You're hopeless, I tell you. What? Don't waste my time. Alright, so the Milu Scimitar. Where's that? Scimitar of Laddersmith Gilligan. Nothing notable about this weapon except perhaps the luxurious jewels embedded in the hilt. If your aim is to appear dazzling on the battlefield, this might just do the trick. Alright. I just need a few more souls. And ironically, maybe not ironically, I think the Iron Keep is a spectacular place to get them. But, <clears throat> I have a respawn critter to fight in here anyway. Right here in the smelter arena. Behold. It's a pursuer. Remember this guy?
using fire damage. So I think it would behoove me to swap out. The hollowing's not bad yet. Put on my ring of blades. I had the ring of binding on that whole time. That'll just make you feel ridiculous, won't it? Too. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed it, <laughs> uh, but there, was, there was a lot of activity there. Uh, if you enjoyed the episode, I hope you'll give it a like and consider subscribing to the channel. If you want to discuss this or any of my other content, the best place is my Discord server. I put a link that I set to never expire in every video description. Discord has a bad habit of expiring those links anyway, so if the link doesn't work, uh, please contact me directly and I'll be happy to send you an invite. 
Um, if you care to support me or the channel, best way, apart, of course, from liking and subscribing, is through my Patreon page. That link is also in the video description. Patreon supporters get to nominate and vote for the games they'd like to see me play. Currently working my way through Outer Wilds in that slot. Once a game is chosen, I play it through all the way to the end, full completion, including achievements where possible, and then I have my supporters choose another. If that interests you, feel free to check it out. Regardless, I really do appreciate your time and attention. I'm grateful to you for watching. I hope you have a great day, and I'll see you soon. Take care.